great job by the honor team. I think this cemetery is blessed with a group of young men in the California National Guard that has served their federal time here or overseas or whatever and take the time to practice well enough to where when they fire those weapons you hear one shot that's all you hear every once in a while one will be just a fraction off but they are fantastic and anytime you get a chance to talk to them thank them for what they do we're here again this week to celebrate the lives of a group of men and women who for whatever reason are being brought here or have been brought here during the past week for burial and either have no family, family couldn't be found, or a family is unable or unwilling to make final arrangements for them. We don't really know these men and women, but on the other hand, we do know them because we, most of us served with them. Maybe we don't know their name, we don't know their face. But during your two, three, four, however many years you spent in the military, you came across these men and women. You worked with them, and now we honor them. Every man and woman who raised that hand and took that oath, excluding Bob's oath, <laughs> we honor them for their service to this country. We know it was honorable or else they wouldn't be eligible to be buried here. We look out across the fields. They're freshly mowed. Uh, most of the flowers are gone that were here for the Christmas and New Year's. That's unfortunate. It's too bad we can't have a, something always there for them because it does look beautiful when the flags are flying in honor of these men and women. So remember them, whether you remember their names or not, that's all right. We have the dog tags that you can carry around in remembrance. We have the tags here that represent over 3,000 veterans that we have honored since we started in March of 2008. And we will continue to do so. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This truly is an honor for me to be allowed to read these names. These are the names of the veterans who have already been buried. James Bonner, Army, Charles Valencia, Navy, Donald Hamilton, Army. And these are the names of the veterans that are going to be buried today. Gene Morris, Army, Korea, age 79. Earl Bennett Jr., Army, World War II, age 90. William Martin, Army, Vietnam, age 78. Verlin Sides, honorably, honorably served World War II, age 92. Thank you. Good morning, folks. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Honored to be here today. I'd like to start out with this. Uh, this was read at my uncle's funeral, and I always kind of brings a tear to my eyes. It's called Stars and Stripes. The Stars and Stripes, they flew forever, always in his heart. 
He was loyal to his nation and bravely did his part. Always thinking of his brothers and, and, and ever in mankind, he stood for love and country and most of all mankind. Now gazing down on his master through lights and heavenly clouds, he's looking out for all of us whom he is so proud. Psalms 39.4 <clears throat> Life is a temporary assignment. Lord, remind me how brief my time on earth will be. Remind me that my days are numbered and that my life is fleeting away. I'm always asking myself, uh, I know I'm here for a very short period of time, and what can I do to give me a better chance to get to heaven? And I'm a pretty judgmental person. I need to be more understanding, and I know that I probably won't make that goal because uh, I'm a human being, but thanks to uh, our Lord, and our Savior, he was sent down here to save us so that we, uh, we can be sinners and he still forgive us. Romans 6, 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of eternal life is through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray, please. Dear Lord, please welcome home these veterans that have served our country and our country. Lord, please comfort the ones that are left behind. Please give our servicemen and women the courage they need to face our enemies. Thank you, Lord, for our safety this day. This I pray in Jesus Christ, our Savior's name. Amen, and God Amen. bless America. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you. If we cannot do him honor while well, he's here to hear the praise, then at least let's give him homage at the ending of his days. Perhaps just a simple headline in a paper that would say, our country is in mourning. A soldier died today. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for being here.